Hey y'all, it's Miss Fernie. Welcome back to another video. And for today's video, I'm gonna do a get ready with me because me and my man are gonna go to Reno. Um, this is my first time actually going to Reno, so I'm excited. Um, I'm nine months pregnant, so we were just like, we should take a trip before the baby comes and hopefully the baby doesn't come over there. So I'm just nervous, but we're just gonna go with the flow and um, he's actually coming home from work in a little bit, so I have to hurry up. So enjoy. So the first thing I did was I added um, some primer and this is the one I use. This is the one by e.l.f. Um, it's just the poreless putty primer. I actually really like this one. Obviously, I'm almost done with it, um, but I don't really do my makeup like that anymore. So I don't really use it, but I do recommend it if you have oily skin because it does actually make your, um, well, it makes my makeup stay. Everybody's skin is different, so just try it at your own risk since it is like eight in the morning i don't want to cake my face up too much so i'm just going to use um, some concealer this is the concealer that i use i'm just going to apply it to the areas and to um the red marks or blemishes that i have so we can look flawless i'm gonna just carve out my eyebrows because i don't really like to do my eyebrows y'all i just carve them out and then um since my hair is pretty thick already it makes them look really really nice and carved out and i don't know i might fill them in i might not i don't know reno is like four hours away from us so we'll get there pretty early and i might i just might just do a full glam i'm not sure all right now that everything's applied and carved out i'm gonna get my beauty blender and i got this from elf it was like i don't know like three dollars y'all i really like this sponge because it's really like spongy and soft and it's easy to clean and it actually lasts a long time so i do recommend it all right and i'm just gonna blend everything in Okay, now that everything's pretty much blended in, y'all, I do grab my CC cream from the brand IT. And I mentioned this in my last video. This is actually the bomb.com if you don't like heavy foundation, if you want something like dewy or matte, but like also makes it look like it's just your skin, get you some of this. And it has SPF, which I really like. And yeah, y'all, it has a lot of benefits. So that's what I'm gonna be using. This doesn't make me break out and Honestly, even if you do have it for a long period of time, it just makes your um, skin look dewy and like if it's your natural skin. So that's why I like it a lot. And it's really lightweight. You can build it up without making it look so cakey. I love this stuff. It's pretty full coverage, y'all. You don't really need too much. It gives you the prettiest finish. It literally looks like your skin but better type of thing. Uh, very, very lightweight. It doesn't even make you feel like you're wearing any makeup. Okay, now that that's blended in, y'all, I'm going to add my concealer. I'm going to add a little brighter concealer this time because I do want everything to be brightened up for when we get there. Um, everything looks fresh. Usually, I would go back to this concealer, which is like the same color of my foundation or a little lighter. But I kind of want to brighten this up a little bit. So I'm going to use the Maybelline Eraser Multi Concealer. And this is in the color... I think it's 160, y'all. Honestly, it's, it's this one, but you can't really see the numbers. So I think it's the color 160. It might be like classic ivory or whatever. I don't really add too much of this because it is very bright and it's like really light. And then we're just going to blend it out. All right, all right. So now that everything's blended, y'all, um go ahead and add your loose powder um i use like a maybelline uh loose powder it doesn't matter what powder you use just make sure that you like it and it's just basically to set all your cream stuff
I'm not a professional, y'all. I just be doing my makeup, all right? So don't judge me. I just need to make sure that I'm ready by the time he comes so we can dip. I'll also be making a vlog so y'all can see um, where we're going. I've never been there before. I guess he's been there. But I'm excited because, y'all, with the new baby coming, I feel like we're just not going to have the time to be going out as a couple anymore. So I'm excited to kind of just go somewhere with him where it's just me and him you know and like before the baby comes because we're gonna be super super busy so i basically just put the powder on my face and i'm just gonna let it sit there i kind of blended it in but like i don't know i'm just gonna let it sit there for a little bit longer and then i'm gonna start on my eyeshadow so for my eyeshadow i don't really know what i want to do yet y'all um i'm thinking maybe something neutral um but it is like going out of town so i kind of wanted it to be like you know like a glam but i don't really like doing my makeup like that y'all like like unless i'm going to like a party or like a wedding which i've never really been to um then i'll do my makeup like that but i don't really like to do my makeup i usually just use one color on my lid and then call it a day but since we're going to Reno and we might go to like a steakhouse later, uh, maybe I should do it a little, you know, at least try or something. So I'm just going to start off with like a light brown in my crease because you can never go wrong with that. If you want something nice and easy, just always start with a light brown or an orange color in your shade and then you'll be good. And I'm over here talking like I'm a makeup artist and I'm not, but... You know what every time i do this it looks really nice so and i'm also using the morphe palette um like who ev who even uses morphe anymore if y'all do then shit, i do too this is the morphe palette that i'm using this is the 25b i got this like so many years ago but hey it's still going strong just smoke out this light brown up to the top and then i'll start adding my darker browns I'm gonna get this brush and I'm just gonna fluff everything out. This brush is from, um, I wanna say AliExpress. And y'all, y'all are sleeping on those brushes because I've been having these brushes since I was in high school and they blend super, super nicely. I think I paid like $10 for like a pack of 15. And don't worry, I'm gonna blend this out. <laughs> I know I look like a raccoon. I'm very excited because I am 35 weeks pregnant today and um the time is coming y'all like sometimes i think i'm like damn i'm really pregnant but like really like bitch it, it's too late to be really thinking like that like you know what i mean like you've been pregnant for nine months like it's a little too late like y'all this is my first baby and the fact that like he moves so much and he um i'm just gonna grab the same brush um the fact that he moves so much and that he's literally almost here and like you know you can feel like his head like or like i can feel it you guys can't i'm really gonna push something out that's gonna be like seven pounds i've never broken a bone i've never been into surgery so you know getting stitches hopefully not but like just going through something like that being in the hospital bed is just terrifying to me but we basically have everything for him ready here at the house and um yeah I do want to make a video of um, what's in my diaper or my hospital bag. So I'm going to be filming that soon. We're just waiting for the diaper bag to be delivered. And then I'll go ahead and do it. And if any of you guys are like first time moms or second time moms or just moms in general, you guys can let me know what else I need to pack in that bag because <sighs> I'm sure I need more things than what I have packed in there. Once all that is blended out, I'm going to add a darker brown on my lid now. I kind of want a shimmer, but I feel like the shimmer is doing too much. So I'm going to just keep it like matte and simple and like fall. I'm going to go in with this brush right here. This is a Morphe brush. I got this from like the Morphe store, I think. <laughs> Where else would I get it from? It's going to add probably like, I don't know. I don't know if I want the darkest shade or like this little like chocolate brown kind of thing. Mm, maybe like this, this one right here. I'm going to add some brown right there and then I'm thinking of putting a darker brown in the corner, the outer corner, just to make it look a little bit smokier. I'm just going to use this brush right here. It's like fluffy, but it's also dense because I don't want the brown to 
kind of like blend out the whole eye i just kind of want to blend it out but like i want it to stay right here so yeah i'm just gonna use this brush i don't know where i got this brush i think i got it from aliexpress too but this was years ago and they still going strong so And then also what I like to do is I like to flick my eyeshadow like upwards just because I like how it makes my eyes look. I like the kind of like the cat eye look. Some people add tape to get that really like crisp fine line, you know, but I don't. I've never really tried to do that because I hear that it stretches your skin out and whatever. But um, yeah, I mean, you can always clean it up with concealer. And then I'm going to get the darkest shade of brown that's in this palette and then add it right here right like on my lash line and then the corner of my eye kind of making it look like you have some eyeliner but you don't you know what i mean okay now that you kind of have this going on you're just gonna blend it and make sure that the browns are like nice and blended And then once it's like semi blended, I'm going to get just like a white clean brush and then start blending everything. So this is when I start blending like everything, like my whole lid to like the dark brown and everything. Now I'm just going to get a little bit of concealer, put it behind my hand and then clean that line up right there. There you go. See, you're just cutting that line right there. and then you can blend it out. Now I'm gonna grab my beauty blender and just blend that out. And then with the rest of that like powder that I had on my face, I'm just gonna press it in there. And yeah, so this is what I have for the eyes so far, guys. I know it looks a little like, you know, but it's gonna look really cute once you put your eyelashes on. Next thing I do is I'm gonna put a little bit of um, eyeshadow down here on my lash line, just so it doesn't look like I only have eyeshadow on the top. I kind of just want it to be a little bit smokier. Well, I'm going to use the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil and Hot Chocolate. This is just a brown like um, eyeliner, I guess. And I water tight line my eye um, with this just to make it look a little bit more smokier. I go ahead and line the bottom lash line. I don't know, for some reason, I feel like the brown makes my eyes look really, really nice. Especially with these type of looks because my eyes are really dark brown. And then with the brown smoky eye, it just makes it look so much sexier. So, okay. See, it just brings out my eyes a lot better. So, this is my holy grail. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, some mascara. This is just the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full, full what? Full Fan Effect. Okay, now I'm gonna add my um, bronzer. I use the matte bronzing powder palette. Oh my God, y'all. I am so sorry. <laughs> I use the matte bronzing powder palette um, by Essence. I really, 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 really like this palette. It's so pretty. It has all these shades. You can literally build this up and it lasts all day and it just gives you the nicest wash of color, y'all. I'm not even exaggerating, y'all see. So look how pretty that color is. And then I like to use the darker colors too, depending on like my skin tone, like in the summer or in the winter. Right now I'm just using the lightest color and it looks really, really pretty. And then I add a little bit on my forehead and then add a little bit of the darker one and then just make my cheekbones pop a little bit more. So yeah, oh yeah. And then I'll go in with a brush like this and then just make sure that I blend everything um, the other one I kind of just used to pack it where I want it to be packed and then I'll go in and then I'll just blend everything out. I'm going to try to attempt to contour my nose. I'm going to use the second darkest color in the palette to do that because y'all yeah, this pregnancy nose I feel like my nose got so much wider 
and um they're like saying i heard like online like oh when you're having a boy your nose gets held a wide towards the end of like pregnancy and like i feel like i have it and i've never really contoured my nose y'all so i might end up making it look bigger than what it actually is so i'm just gonna try it this is actually my first time trying it on camera okay so i think it's like this i don't know I'm gonna just leave it like this and just blend it out so it won't look so harsh. But yeah, it's looking a little orange. So yeah, I gotta blend this out. I don't even know if this is how you like contour a nose, but I'm just gonna leave it like that. So now I'm just gonna set it. I'm just gonna cut this just so it will look a little bit cleaner. All right. I'm gonna look crazy for a little bit. All right, there you go. And then just set my nose contour, my nose wannabe contour because I don't even know if I did this right. So once that's done and I leave it there to bake a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and add my eyelashes. So the eyelashes I'm gonna put on y'all or that I'm gonna use are these lashes from Target. Um, I got these like a few weeks ago and I lost the box. So I don't know what brand they are, but they are from Target. I feel like they're like the eye lore um, eyelashes. Okay guys, so this is what the eyes look like with the eyelashes on. I think these eyelashes are really, really pretty. They're from Target, so um, I'm pretty sure they're the eye lore eyelashes. So if you guys want to know or curious or want to get some, check your Target and check the eye lore. Um, I forgot the box, y'all. I threw it away, so I don't know what style exactly these are, but um, yeah, y'all can kind of see. Eye lore has really nice eyelashes, and they're usually really wispy and like fluffy like this. Now it's time to fluff this out and take all the powder off our faces. I'm going to add some pomade to them, and this is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio um, pomade. And I'm just gonna add the slightest, slightest tint to my eyebrows, guys. Like not even that much. Just so it can kind of match like, you know, the sultry eye look. Just a little bit, just like that, okay? Just like that, y'all. It's basically it, y'all. Um, I hope you guys liked this um, makeup tutorial. It's something that's very, oh my God, y'all, I forgot my lips, ew, no. Okay, so let me move on to my lips and then we'll be done with the video. <laughs> Okay, so for my lips, I'm just gonna add this NYX uh, Professional Makeup Lip Pencil. Um, this is in the color Nude Beige. This doesn't really make a difference every time I use it. It just kind of looks like my own lip color. I wanted it a little bit more brown, but this is what I'm gonna use. And then I'm going to add the Milani um, Satin Matte Lipstick, li Liquid Lipstick, in the color Lavish. I really like these y'all these are very very matte but they do stay on all day and they just add well this color just adds a little bit of like just like a light pink light nude color and this is like honestly my go-to lip combo all the time because this literally fits all types of makeup looks okay okay now the makeup look is complete so yeah i like the the brown on my eyes i feel like that's what kind of i was going for i just wanted my eyes to pop and then everything else is like a light color i will be vlogging the trip so stay tuned for that if you like this video go ahead and give me a like comment share subscribe so you get notified every time i upload and yeah i'll see you guys in my next vlog